Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you and nice to be back here in the bathroom shaving. Right, I have a couple of new products today um, to show you, so let's crack on. And uh, first of all, I will show you the soap. Southern Witchcrafts Carmilla. Uh, these are available in the UK uh, from Shaving Time. I got this from Shaving Time, so um, I'll put links to everything in the description and uh, you can go check them out. So this is Carmilla. Now, Carmilla is a a female vampire, uh, which predated Bram Stoker's Dracula's, uh, the, the book by 20 odd years. Uh, so I guess that's the book there on the artwork. Now, Southern Witchcrafts are all about kind of dark scents and uh, ghosts and ghouls and witches and stuff like that. Really nice, a, a good, I like them. Um, the scent on this is Nag Champa, Frankincense and Amber. Now, Nag Champa is a, an incense stick um, and it's just a, a nice, uh, spicy, woody, calming, it's very nice. It's a kind of soft, softish soap, like a crope. But their scents, Southern Witchcraft scents are all really good. Uh, and a lot of people say this is the best uh, vegetal uh, base that you can buy. And I've used them before and they are excellent. Really, really, really nice. Uh, very unusual scents. Some people won't like some of the scents, they're a bit dark, some of them, but I like them. And this one is very nice. Yeah, just a, a nice spicy warming scent. Um, actually, here's a, a look at the description of the soap with the ingredients from the Southern Witchcrafts website. I'll uh, take a look at that. So that's that. Right, I'm going to be bowl lathering that. I've pressed some in the bowl. This is a uh, plastic bowl. I got this from uh, a vintage YouTube shaver called Flash Boredom. Do you remember him? Yeah, <laughs> he uh, he got this bowl for me and he sent it up. It has nice ridges in the bottom there. It's a uh, plastic, so if you drop it, it's fine. But it's a it's a nice size in my hand. Uh, so I've pressed some in there and I'll bowl lather that. Uh, so thank you, Flash. I hope you're well. Um, yeah, I hope you'll uh, make a video again soon. Um, yeah, because I've not seen you for a while. Right, the brush, uh, Yaki Sagrada Familia. Yeah, little yellow stubby synthetic brush. Very good brush, a lot of people have this. It's uh, very nice, look at that. I'll show you up close here. Yeah, it looks great, really nice. Right, that's the brush. The razor I'm gonna to use today is uh, it's another one from Yaki. Um, now, the last video I used the Yaki adjustable and uh, it was a bit shabby and I said it's strange because Yaki's razors are usually uh, very good, very well made, really nice, they, so it was a bit of a surprise. Um, and I got a text message on my phone just saying there's a package coming from China and I thought maybe that's a replacement, uh, they've maybe changed things or whatever. So the package turned up and they, they, it wasn't the adjustable. Uh, it was another <laughs> three razors. Uh, so I'm going to show you two of them just now, because two of them are the same. Um, and they are, are these. This is uh, Yaki's take on the Feather Artist Club style razors. Now, uh, one of them's like a brush steel. This is, uh, I think this is brass, and this one is aluminium. So it's a bit lighter, and it has like kind of a, more of a polished sort of finish. But you can see them there, yeah, very nice. Now you might think, that looks familiar. Where have, where have I seen that before? Well, this is the Blackland Vector. Um, as you can see, the Yaki is similar. They're similar in height. Actually, they're exactly the same size. But um, I just don't know how they're going to shave. But they, they look similar. Actually, I'll show you a picture of them on the windowsill, just here. So uh, this is the three of them now. So as you can see, they all look the same size. Um, they're nice, they look good. The Vector weighs 77 grams. The brass Yaki one, uh, which is the, poly, the kind of matte finish is 70 grams. And the aluminium one, the black handled one is 34 grams. So that's them there. So here it is here. Yeah, kind of similar, but this one is 280 pounds. 200, oh, sorry. 185 pounds, something like that. This is 20 pounds. So if you're looking to try a Feather Artist Club style razor, 
uh, this might be a better option for you. I'm not sure how it shaves, but um, that's the Blackland Vector. This is the Yaki. Right, if you do buy this, be careful. Now the reason I'm saying that is um, I put a little plastic washer on the, the just between the handle and the, the top cap there, just to protect the razor from getting marked. I, I always do it. But when I took it apart, um, now looking at that there, there's nothing in that, but there's actually a blade. It comes with a blade inserted. See, there, there's that um, thread, similar to the, uh, the vector, a kind of flat thread. But when you lift this off, there's actually a blade inside here, but it's facing the wrong way. So the sharp edge is towards the back of the, the top cap, so it won't cut you. But just be careful if you're taking that off, uh, that there is a blade inserted in that. There's the blade there. But I'm not going to use that. Uh, I'm going to use a feather Pro Guard. Um, for those of you that haven't seen how these blades work, they come with this dispenser. You push that back, that's the blade loaded, and you push the blade out like so. Oh, and I've just dropped it on the sink. Right, let me just pick that up. So that's how they, they come out. Now this is a feather pro guard. Can you see the little guards on that? On the edge of the blade there? Yeah, it's supposed to be a, a bit milder. So uh, we'll load the blade onto this cap. This is the base cap of the Yaki. You see there's two posts there. That, these uh, posts, there's two holes on the blade and they fit into these posts like that with the edge of the blade towards the straight piece of the cap. So I will just put this back together. Yeah, it's a little bit, <laughs> it's a little bit tricky to get this all to sit together. And I'll just put that in there, like that. Put the little plastic washer on. Yeah, there wasn't a plastic washer. It didn't come with a plastic washer. So um, I've put one on, as I always do on my razors. Now the thing about this is, with this thread, you just have to be careful. Take your time. Don't screw it in too tight, because uh, you don't want to ruin the threads. Right, there's the blade inserter there. That looks good. All looks nice and straight. Good stuff. Yeah, it looks really nice, actually. Looks great. Right, let's... Um, Get the soap lathered up. This wetness brush. How are you doing? How's things? Where you are? Hope you're all well. Doing good. Right, just give that a little flick. And we'll just go straight into this Southern Witchcrafts. Yeah, these uh, Southern Witchcraft base. The base of the soap is fantastic. <sighs> it's like a warm spicy, uh, just a great balance of everything. <laughs> you can get the amber, Nag Champa frankincense and amber. So a very, uh, Nag Champa and frankincense are supposed to be really calming, relaxing scents. So um, if you like that sort of thing, yeah, you'll probably love this. There it's there. Whipping up the ladder, no problem. With a little yaki. I'm just going to add a little bit of water to it there. Yeah, this is a good bowl. From Flash! Flash! Boredom! He's a Welsh wet shaver! Right, that looks good. Right. There we go, look at that. Yeah, it probably looks a bit wet, but it's, uh, it's the way I want it. Right, let's uh, wet the face. And we'll get this uh, lather going.
Right, I want to give a shout out to um um because I said I would. Uh Jeffrey Smith. If you haven't watched any of Jeff's videos, or Jeffrey, Jeff, not Jeff, not Jeff, Jeffrey. If you haven't watched any of Jeffrey's videos, uh, you should check him out. Very, very knowledgeable wet shaver. Uh, he's like this soap, very calming and very, um, yes, he's just, a, he's just a nice guy to watch shave. He uses some great stuff as well. And he's in the group chat that we have going on. Not that I've uh, been in it for a while with him and Alex De Leon and uh, Manny, SoCal Shaves, another one. I'll put the link to his channel too. I'm going to check them out. Yeah, look at this soap. Just adding a little bit of water there. A little bit more. Yeah, Southern Witchcrafts, one of the uh, one of the great soaps actually, just um, of recent years. Can you? They've only been out for I don't know, a couple of years, I think. Maybe, maybe not even that. Right, let's go with this Yaki. I don't actually know if this has uh, got a name. The Yaki AC style feather artist club. Right, let's go with it and uh, see how it shaves. Right, the only thing with these is we need to rinse them regular because they're um, I have about uh, three days growth here. That blade you can feel you can feel the little guards. See on the on the blade there the little guards. But it feels great. <laughs> Shaving nicely. Yeah, it's getting through the stubble. Getting through the stubble without any trouble. Just like this and glide, there's nowhere to hide. Yeah, just a light touch again. Just shave the same way as you would with a D. Just a, a light touch. You'll find the angle pretty easily with these uh, Artist Club style razors. Are they aggressive? Um, I would say they were mid-aggressive. You can, you can change the aggression on these with the, the type of blade you put in them. Uh, there's a, a few different kinds of blade. You can get um, different brands, I mean, Feather Professional are they? Are they, uh, I think they're the sharpest. Very nice. 
Yeah, so um, if you want to try an artist club style razor, like I said, this might be the way to go because um, the vector is, well, it's a beautifully made razor, it's stainless steel. Uh, it is expensive if you find out then you don't like it. That's superb, really comfortable. Nice weight and balance, the handle's not slippy. It's a nice little bit there for your finger to go in. The scent of that soap. I can really smell it filling the bathroom. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, wow, slickness is amazing. Right, let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number two. Okay, that's that rinsed off. Yeah, residual slickness is uh, really good on the Southern Witchcrafts. Soaps. Right, back to this bowl. Yeah, um, this is one of these soaps that I can tell the lather is good. It has a... Um, you can just tell by the consistency of it, it has a, a good... Um, you'll maybe be able to make it out there. The dense, it has a good denseness to it, if that makes sense. I know, I kind of know what I'm trying to say, uh, but you can just feel it when you're putting it on the skin. It feels, uh, you know, it doesn't feel like thin. It feels like it's uh, clinging to your skin and really, you know, protecting it. Shut up, Kevy, and get on with it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to describe it to you guys, you know. <laughs> just trying to describe the lather. It's lather, shut up and get on with it. You tell these guys. <laughs> uh, I just enjoy the shaves. I just enjoy shaving. With my friends. <laughs> right. Let's uh, go back to this. The yaki. Actually, there, yeah, there is yaki uh, underneath the, the base cap there. Very good. Right, across the growth. Yeah, that is... Uh, very smooth. Now the, the, the kind of... The majority of the stubble's gone. It's just, uh, it's just gliding over the skin now very nicely. Yeah, very nice. Comfortable, easy to find the angle. And I suppose it's wider, a little bit wider than a, a DE blade by about I don't know, is it maybe one and a half DE blades? I think someone said that uh, Yaki are releasing, I think they do 50 of these a week or somewhere. Was it Mike that said that? I can't remember. Someone said that they, they only release so many because they make them and uh, as soon as they go on onto the uh, AliExpress website, they're sold out. But um, they will make them available, I guess. Some people might say, well, it's just a rip off of the, uh, the vector. I guess it is, but the difference here is that, um, as I mentioned before, if you're looking to try one of these razors, you know, other than shelling out $200 or 180 pounds to find out that you don't like it, try one of these. I mean, this one, this one is uh, slightly more expensive because it's the brass handle, but this, the, 
aluminium handle. This one feels a lot lighter. I don't know what that, that will shave like. Uh, and this one has a nicer finish. Personally for me, I, I prefer this kind of brushed look. But that looks good, looks good again. Right, second pass. <laughs> that was quick. Wow. That feels excellent. Right, let me rinse and come back for pass number three against the gross, gross? Against the, ooh, gross. With the Yaki <laughs> Artist Club style razor. Right, rinsed off. Yeah, can you see it? Look at this lather in this bowl. It looks, it looks really wet, but there's just a consistency about it and the sheen. Can you see the shine on that there? Fantastic, the Southern Witchcraft soaps are. If you haven't tried any, you should. Yeah, like I say, I just, this lather feels like, um, it almost feels like silk going on your face. Just really, really good. You'll, uh, you'll understand what I mean if you ever try this, like if you can get a sample, I think they sell samples on their website actually, uh, Southern Witchcrafts. Or they used to, I don't know if they still do, I'll need to check. But if you can get a sample, you'll know what I mean. As soon as you do this, it's just like, if you've added enough water to it. Oh, Kevin, you don't have to go on and on and on and on and on and on. I know, but it's just, uh, just enjoy it. I'm not in any hurry. No, but we are. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Yeah, there's like conversations in my head with three people. Right, look, look at that ladder. That's amazing. Right, let's go against the growth here. Yeah, it'd be interesting to use this as a, a daily driver. I mean, it's certainly making uh, short work of this. Three day growth. Don't know what I'm doing there. Right, I need to remember to keep rinsing it. I'm just all over the place, I'm just there. <laughs> yeah, you can hear that, listen. How you go how's it going? How's it going? How's everyone? Have you tried one of these um, single edge razors like this with that blade? I just meant this uh, style of blade. Very good. Yeah, it's uh, really comfortable shave on the comfort scale which is a professional scale by the way it's probably um if like one's like a mercury future on 17. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, this is probably about a six or a seven i would say yeah very nice wow Right, let's have a quick rinse to see if there's any hiccups needing done. I, t 
tell you what, it's supposed to be a calming scent, and it is a calming scent. I think it's making me hallucinate. Oh. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it does. It feels uh, it feels very calming. Yeah, there's a little bit there, just the usual spot. I'm uh, really chilled out just now. Yeah, which is unusual for me. I've usually got like a million things going on in my head. Wow. Tiny little bit there. Oh look, one little dot. Great, that feels excellent. Cold water rinse. <sighs> wow. <laughs> right, face wash time with this uh, soap. Look at that. Just look at that. You see the shine on that, that's amazing. Right. Oh, <laughs> the scent. Mm. Right, I'm not even gonna say anything because you guys know the drill. That feels like there's a like there's a bam on my face already. That's amazing. Right, onto the post shave. One post shave product and that's it. The matching splash, Carmilla. Uh, yeah, ingredients: witch hazel, water, aloe gel, polysorbate, twinted, fragrance, glycerin, vitamin E. There you go. Look at that. Just a little bit of ingredients. All very, very good stuff. Shake well before use. Yeah, it's a plastic bottle. So the reason you can get this in the uh, UK is because there's no alcohol in it. Again, from shaving time, so very good. <laughs> yeah, so it's a, a kind of like a milky sort of color. Good skin food. <laughs> it smells like the soap. Wow. Wow. Yeah, no burn because there's no alcohol in it, which is, uh, well, some people might want the burn, but there's witch hazel and stuff in it as well, so good stuff. Yeah, it might take a little bit to dry in. It's, it feels a little bit, not oily, but, um, you know, most aftershave you put it on and it, your skin sucks it in, but this feels nice. Very nice, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it smells like the soap. Exactly the same. Good stuff. There we go. What do you think? Decent shave, a decent shave. Right, let me show you what we've used in this uh, shave. The soap Southern Witchcrafts Caramilla, fantastic. Southern Witchcrafts are, um, yeah, I would put these in my top three soaps now. Uh, just this base, it's superb, superb. Yeah, great scents, unusual, but just very, very nice. Caramilla, Nag Champa Frankincense Amber. Very good. Love it. Love it. Love their soaps. Um, we bowl lathered that in the Flash Boredom Bowl. Thank you, Flash. Um, the razor was 
the Yaki single edge uh, artist club style razor. Um, I don't know if there's a name for this, but um, Yaki single edge, I guess I'm just going to call it. Have they redeemed themselves with this razor after the uh, adjustable? Yes, in my eyes they have. This is a fantastic, superb shaving razor. Very good. Uh, inside that was a brand new Feather Pro Guard um, Artist Club style blade. Yeah, very good. Easy to find the angle, no irritation, um, three passes, pickups. Yeah, just, just a great, comfortable, nice razor. Well built, looks good, looks the part. Yep, really does, really does. I like it. Um, yeah, the three passes, pickups, post shave, well, we had a face wash with the wonderful Southern Witchcrafts soaps and the post shave was Southern Witchcrafts Caramella Splash. And that's it, there we go. At the end of another shave. Yay! At last everyone says, Way! Thank God, yay! he's finished, way! He's finished, yay! He's finished, yay! <laughs> right, okay, uh, that's enough for me for today. I'm just gonna have a little drink. Just have a little drink. As I'm gonna be some fuck soap. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Yeah, I think I'm going mad in this lockdown. That's what's happened. Uh, right, okay, that's enough from me for today. <laughs> that's enough from me for today. Oh man. Right, okay, I'm going now. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching. Thank you for all the comments uh, and the recent comments in the videos. Uh, I enjoy reading them all, I try and answer them all, or uh, I hit the heart button, or put a thumbs up, or whatever I do. Uh, but thank you uh, again for, for all the comments, uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, it's nice to be uh, interactive with viewers and stuff that watch these videos, because we're all like-minded people, and we're all a little bit... just a little bit. Uh, but it helps when you're uh, with like-minded people. Right, okay, I'll uh, see you in the next shave. Have yourselves a wonderful whatever you're watching this week, weekend, Sunday, Saturday, Friday, if you're looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, nice. Uh, right, take it easy. Look after loved ones. I'll see you in the next shave. Take care.